Exodesease phytoplasma causes small, misshapen fruit in both cherries as well as other types of stone fruit. One of the key ways that it's spread from tree to tree and from block to block is by a few species of leafhoppers. It's important to monitor those leafhoppers so that you're not treating the orchard and spending extra money when those leafhoppers aren't present. One of the key ways of doing this is through yellow sticky cards like this here, and that allows you to monitor those leafhoppers and inform your management decisions. Trap for leafhoppers post-harvest until the end of October when the leafhopper numbers are high and the concentration of the disease in the tree is high so the leafhoppers are most likely to pick it up. Hang yellow sticky cards three to five feet from the ground on orchard borders and in hot spots. Check traps once a week, switching out sticky cards when you want to take them back to do counts or if they become too dirty. There are 20,000 leafhopper species, so it is important to focus on the right ones. Of the six leafhopper species known to vector X disease in Washington, three are most common, Colodonus reductus, Colodonus geminatus, and to a lesser extent, Colodonus montanus. To recognize the important species, look for what appears to be a face with a handlebar mustache, a pirate hat, and sunglasses on the back of geminatus. Reductus has a bright yellow stripe on its back, and that stripe is present on montanus as well. Manage leafhoppers when they are present, rotating between pesticide groups.